Hey guys and gals, so in this video I'm going to be carrying out the uh, Creality Hot End PTFE fix. So what's been happening is in the Hot End the PTFE tube goes straight through and goes right up to the nozzle and the tube seems to be pulling away and leaving a void in this space here. So the fix uh, addresses this by um, you put a cut piece of PTFE into this section of the Hot End which goes right up to the nozzle. You then put a 3D printed um, stopper in and then the PTFE tube goes from the extruder to the hot end. And because the, it's not attached, there's no sort of tension pulling it away from the nozzle, which should stop the under extrusion that I've been getting. So to this fix covers quite a few different things. So different machines. So it covers the Ender 3, the Ender 3 Pro, uh, CR10, CR10S, but there are different files for each part. So what you need to do is download the file. We'll open that up. Okay. And um, the files we need are the ender3cut.stl and the ender3 underscore CR10 underscore insert STL. So this is for the ender3. I'm going to drag this out and I'll open this in Cura and show you the files. Okay, so what we've got is the two files. We've got the um, the little stopper and we've got the cut gauge. Um, now, I'm not actually sure I'm going to be able to print this properly because of the under extrusion I'm getting, but all I need is the um, to know how far to cut it. And there's also um, on the comments on the Thingiverse file, um, user uh, PBBFT, did the measurements and the actual measurement you need for the PTF tube that goes inside the hot end is 31.31. So um, if this doesn't work, I'll just measure it. Um, so printing this, uh, it's recommended that you print it at a 0 0.12 layer height. Uh, I'm going to use 100% infill. So infill density at 100 to make it quite strong uh, for the peg and build plates fine temperatures fine uh sprint speed 60 mms so that's what you need to print so let's get that printed and then we can move on to the fix okay so i've got my ptfe tube and i've got my little printed measure it hasn't come out at all well but it is good enough for me to be able to see where I need to cut. So um, I'm going to do it slightly differently. So I'm going to actually mark it and then use a cutting tool that I've got. So what I want to do is just make sure that's right on the line and then I'm going to mark that off and make the cut. So I should be able to see that. Yeah, that's fine. And I've got a little cutter that I can make the cut with. So I'll just line that up where it needs to be, make the cut, and there's the little piece of PTFE that will go into my hot end, and uh, if it's not quite right, we'll, we'll adjust it in a minute. Um, so that's that. I've got the tubing that I'm going to replace, the connectors and some cable ties just to tie these off at the end. Um, I'm going to strip down the hot end and uh, disable the current PTFE now. Okay, so I'm going to cut off the cable ties from the, uh, so as I can get to the PTFE tubing. I'll just re-cable tie this up after it's twisted anyway from where I assembled ages ago. Okay, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to undo the PTFE. Now, I've already loosened it using a pair of pliers. So if you can't get it undone, just loosen it off and that should come straight out. Obviously, I've taken the PLA that was in there off. And then we need to take this off. Now, to do this, I'm actually going to take off the um, fans to get to the hot end. So I shall come back once I have undone this screw and this screw and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so that's the uh, fan cover off. So 
this is what we're going to be taking off next which is the hot end so we're just going to undo these two screws now i've already dismantled my hot end previously and um the reason i did that was to obviously check the if it was clogged and also to remove the there was two bolts i say bolts two screws uh holding the heat block onto um i think this is the heat sink so through going up through the heat block into the red um heat sink and what happens is they shouldn't be there they should actually be removed at the factory and they weren't so the issue with that is that they uh can draw sort of too much heat away and you don't want that i think that's what it is anyway if it's not let me know comment below i don't know everything so what i'm going to do is just loosen the pt fe connector Da, 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 da. Okay, that's that, and then that just pulls up. Now, the easiest way I've found to get the PCFE tube out is don't, tr you can try and yank it if you want, but heat up the hot end. Obviously, don't be touching it at the time, but just heat it up a little bit, and then it will just pull out. So that's that removed. Okay, so I'm going to take the nozzle out. Okay, just check inside there, inside the heat block. And do you know what? I think there might actually be another clog. So I'm going to strip this right down. So taking the little grubs, loosen the grub screw, pull that off, undo the throat. So this is the little throat. Okay. And this should be clear, but if we actually put something down it, there's actually a little chunk of plastic again. So not great. So now I've got that off, I can slide um, this blue PTFE tubing into here and just see what we're going to get. So you can see it's going to go, just get the gunk out, it's going to go all the way down to there. And obviously that's going to screw back in. And then obviously the nozzle should screw all the way up and they'll screw together and then that should stop the void there. But we need to make sure that this is actually going to fit. So, and that looks, gunk out. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of filament all over the place, to be honest. So that will go through and you can see in here, that it lines up quite nicely and then we should I'm just going to test this to see how well it fits so this is the the little stopper that gets 3d printed and that will just fit into here like so and that's that's a pretty good fit as far as i'm concerned i could be wrong comment below if you think there's a better way of doing it but that should be all right. So that should stop any movement there. And then obviously the, uh, the connector will screw in on top of that. Just doing a little bit of a test and be tightened up. And then we can get it all put back together and do the, the final stuff of connecting up the actual PCFE tube. So I'll do that now. Okay, so that's the, the hot end put back together. Um, I just need to put the silicon sleeve on. I would recommend these to replace that horrible tape that goes on the hot block. Um, they're really cheap off eBay. Uh, I had a little bit of an issue with the fact that they didn't turn up. 
but um, the guy very kindly sent out a replacement so very kind I had paid for them um, so yeah so we want to just pop that on and like I say if you do replace the tape on your hot block take out the two two screws here and here you don't need them they're not required uh, they will take heat away from uh, your hot end and that's never a good thing so that's all installed and fine what you want to do is other one onto here There we go, happy days. Okay, so I've got a length of piece of tube and just measured it against the other one. Obviously it's gonna be a bit too long, but we'll sort that in a minute. So to do this one, all we need to do is push down and slide it in as far as it will go and then pull up and that locks that in place. That's perfect. And then this end will just literally, I'm just gonna run it along the cable and do you know what? I'm just, that's fine. When you leave it the same length and then again push in push it in as far as it will go and pull out and then we'll just secure those with um, some cable ties and that's it okay so just going to put a cable tie around this and just secure it into place okay, and that just stops it any movement uh, let me just trim that up. And we'll do the same for this end. Is it sure? I don't personally think it will need it, but... Okay, so that's that. Okay, and then we'll put the put the fan cover back on. So I'm currently printing the Tyrannosaurus Rex off Thingiverse at 200%. Um, had a bit of an issue today. That for some reason, Cura told me the print was going to be like four hours. And it came out at like 24 hours. So I still can't work out why my infill was only 10%. Um, print speed was set to 60. So, and I wasn't, I was only doing uh, 0 0.2 layer height. So why the, the top hip took almost 24 hours to print is actually beyond me at the moment. But it came out really well. It came out really nicely. Um, I'll show you in a second. Okay, so that's the PTFE fix done. Um, whether it works is, of course, another question. But I shall give it a go. And we shall try a test print and see what happens. Um, so yeah, the, the hit from the T-Rex, I'll show you that. So obviously this is at 200%, but it did actually come out quite well. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'll show you it on the bed, gives you an idea of scale. So pretty happy. Uh, it's in... Um, uh, frontier filler glow in the dark filament and it really does work quite well literally literally you just charge it up under under a light and uh, I'll kill the lights and you can see that is absolutely awesome I mean seriously cool and this, this thing's going to be massive when it's done. Like I said, I'm printing it 200% of the original STL. So, I mean, that's going to be huge. 
so I'll keep you posted. Um, in the comments section, uh, community section, um, I'll be posting some updates, so remember to follow those, check those out, and uh, let me know what you think. So, let's do a test print of the PCFE fix. So, I mean, I can see straight away that the, the flow is so much better. Um, can't really get a focus on this, but. So, this is what we got. <laughs> Little, I think it's a MakerBot robot of Thingiverse. Uh, pretty happy with the quality and um, the under extrusion seems to have stopped. So, I'll run it for a couple of days and see how I get on. Um, I'm waiting on a all metal extruder which I'll try and do a video of uh, the install for that and I've got some dampeners to go on so I'll film that as well and get those up um, remember to like subscribe and share and if you have a look in the top right hand corner on my YouTube channel page uh, you can always shout me a coffee if I've helped you out thanks for watching